Welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jared, and on this channel, I take you along through my creative journey, process, and struggles as an image maker. So if that's something that you're into, consider subscribing so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video designed to help you with your creative process. And with that out of the way, today I'd like to talk to you about something that I find extremely important. Writing, shooting, and editing short films. Short films can be an incredible way to practice every aspect of your craft as an image maker. And in the last one that I made, Into the Maw, which you could check out right here, there was one particular skill that I didn't really get to test out given that we shot the majority of the film in outdoor sunlit conditions. I didn't get to practice my lighting. Perhaps one of the most important skills that you can develop as a filmmaker, especially if cinematography is your thing. So as you saw in the beginning of this video, I had a scene. That scene comes from an upcoming short film that I will release as soon as it's done, but along the way, I'm gonna shoot a series of behind the scenes things that I can bring to you. Before shooting that scene, I really wanted to nail the lighting and get the look for this film. In order to do that, I grabbed my fiance Emma and I practiced my lighting in several different styles, ultimately settling on the one that you saw in the beginning of this video. But to get there, I had to practice. So, as always, a disclaimer. This video is not intended to be a tutorial. It's not intended to show you how to light, the right way to light, the wrong way to light, or anything else. This was purely an exercise of me practicing, and I just wanted to take you along on that journey to hopefully inspire you to practice your lighting. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and check out this lighting. Okay, so here we are. We've set the scene. This is broad daylight. Emma sitting at the dining room reading a book. That's our scene. You can see the daylight in the back and the daylight coming in from her left side. All we did here is block off the window in the background to the kitchen, and we've added a practical light source, which will give us a way to motivate our light with the lamp that we have on our left. We brought in two Aperture MCs that I stuck to the cabinets in the back just to bring those levels up and kind of give it more of a moonlight look. And then we added an edge light motivating off of the right hand side in order to give her some background separation and get that checkerboard lighting pattern. These are the settings that we shot everything at. From here, we added a soft box, which got me so close to where I wanted to be. All we did was light it from overhead, as you can see right here, and just straight down. I switched to a hard light source though. You can see that right here, uh, what we did was just switch out the soft box for a Fresnel, and it got me the look that I really wanted. That's the daylight, that's what we were working with, and then back to the hard light, which ultimately got us to here. Hey. Thanks for sticking around. This video was completely intended to inspire you to get out there and simply practice your craft, practice your lighting and practice your skills. Skills, especially in image making, are things that need to be practiced and developed and honed in order for you to get the best results for the things that you wanna make. And I'm no exception to this. Now, if you're not inspired because I lit this with a bunch of aperture gear and things that you may not have, I'm really interested in doing a video where I can show you how to get amazing results lighting a scene with nothing more than practicals, just the lamps and stuff that you have around your house, including just regular everyday bulbs that you could go pick up at your local store, uh, and daylight. Windows are your friends, so are your curtains. So if that's something that you want to see, please let me know down below in the comments and we'll see if we can make something like that work. So thank you for watching and if you did get something out of this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, a like, comment, share, subscribe if you're into that. Do all the normal fun YouTuber things, it's free and it certainly helps out me a lot in spreading the message to other folks just like you. But for now, I'd like to thank you for your time and attention today and know how valuable it is. Again, my name is Jared, and I hope to talk to you again 
real soon.